Hi everyone, welcome to another DIY episode on Sailing Bluefin. Today we decided to do our front clears with this lovely, what are they called? Uh, they're cafe curtains from Bunnings. If you're new to our channel, make sure you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we put up videos. Yeah, so what we're doing is using cafe curtains from Bunnings that uh, are normally rolled down this way and these zippers are on the side. We're turning them up this way and using them as clears on the boat. And they really, as Alex was saying, it's a fraction of the price of getting someone in to do this. And then when they get all ruined, you just replace them with a new set. <laughs> go, go to Bunnings, one of these is $75. Yeah. It's like... Nothing much yeah. compared to what you get called probably a few thousands just to do this whole section for us. So this is the brand of blinds that we got from Bunnings. Uh, you could use any cafe blind really, but these are the ones that we got. And they're quite good quality, especially for the price. Before we use the clears, because they're made for like uh, balconies and houses, they've got these bottom and top pieces on them, but they'll be the sides. So the first thing we need to do is drill these rivets out and just take the pipe out from here. And then there's a piece of wood inside here that we have to unscrew as well, um, just the top and bottom. So yeah, we just drill these out like this. take these out. Once we get those out, we can take these pipe, the pipes out and just do these ones as well over the side. So once we get the rivets out, there we go. Now pull this one out. So this is now a free end that we can use as the side and we can we can sew anchors to that, we can sew straps to it so we can strap it where we need to strap it. Hmm. And this is the top top half that we take out. So this has a piece of wood inside it. Just gonna undo all these screws. And then this piece of wood comes out. And we keep all these pieces of wood because they're actually quite handy for other little projects. There we go. That's good. Okay. <laughs> so a while back we put track up on the front here because we had some mesh that we put up here. You put in the track now? Yep. Yeah, so. And so this track is mounted up on a ridge that's made for the track to go on. And so it's it's a track that the bolt rope, it's a bolt rope is a round rope uh, like this and it goes into a track. So it's quite a clever little sort of setup. And so once the track is up there, you just slide this through like this. So it slides in and out. And once you've got it slid in and you anchor these down with straps, it's it's pretty much definitely in place. So I put this track in myself and it's really not that difficult. You uh, get the track from a sail maker and it can be hard to get. We have to really hunt around to get it. Um, a lot of places sell the al aluminium track but uh, this is the plastic track and the plastic track is actually kind of better to use. So um, you get the track, you screw it in. So I've drilled all these holes and I've put some Sikaflex on here. Put some on my finger, and you put some weather graded, weatherproof Sikaflex underneath the track, so it screws it, glues it, and makes it weatherproof. Okay, so I just need to push this up like that, and screw this in. That gets one 
of them in place. I just need to put the other screws in. I found some. Oh, here we go. Here's the track. We had a spare ones. This is what they look like. Let's see the way. So yeah, look, it's, it's something you can do yourself. Uh, the key with all of these sort of projects, especially this sort of thing, is really plan it out. Take your time, plan it out. What it, they always say, measure twice, cut <laughs> once. <laughs> As we know. It's an old carpenter's saying. So this is the other clear. So it's um, we put it in place and now we just mark with these straps here inside, measure, because we've got these anchors already here that they were there. So we're just gonna put them in here, sew them in there, and that will keep the clear in place for us. And it will be quite good for when it rains. So tonight we've managed to rig up the sewing machine, just the normal sewing machine we have on the boat, with a thicker needle and thread. And now Dad's trying to put the clears together. And he's doing a good job, by the way. It's a bit more Very complicated. Awkward. Like this. Did it get stuck? Oh, okay. Alright. Um, I think you yeah. might have an issue. Okay. Problem solved. <laughs> okay. So what settings do you have it on? So we've got it on... You need to put this on one. It's, it's just a big stitch. Yeah. So wider stitch. That's about it really. Mm. So we're just sewing the straps on. The machine's doing quite well. Little machine. <laughs> so. There we go. Just lift up the needle, pull the foot up, and there's one strap done. So it's nice. Yep, sits nice and strong. Perfect. And without an industrial sewing machine. Yep. So for this clear. We've sewn on all the straps. Here we go. Let's see. Two, four of them. That's great. Yeah, and they're really strong. This is great. We're doing between 20 and 27. Knots. Knots. Okay. It's crazy. A bit windy. So we're doing one of the last steps in the process of making our clears. And this is for the back clears, isn't it? Yes, yeah, these are the buckles so that we can um, do that. But I managed to get some white webbing because everything else is white. So um, we managed to jam up the sewing machine this morning. So now I'm hand sewing these, which is actually working out really well. It looks great when you have said the other one. Hmm. There's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> yeah, it comes out really well. Unfortunately, we couldn't find white buckles. No. <laughs> they don't exist. No, they don't make them. So, yeah, so what, once I've got these ready, then I take um, another piece of webbing. This is, this is webbing, by the way. And I sew them together like that and I put the buckle on this side and then that way we can roll it up and yeah. buckle it together. It. This one just slides on and then we hem it. That's all. Nice. So I've got the straps all ready. I've sewn all the hems and now I'm just sewing them onto the clears. So you're using a thicker needle than normal, aren't you? Actually, now I'm using a normal needle. Oh, okay. I'm beginning to think I should have used the thicker <laughs> one. Because <laughs> it is. Is the thread thicker than usual? Yes. Yeah. How did you manage to get it through the eye of the thin needle? So this is the heavy duty thread, but it's not the sail thread. Oh, okay. This is, this is the heavy duty thread that we bought yesterday. Um, that's definitely easier to work with and the sail thread is really hard to work with. 
here are the buckles finished now. We we'll just clip them together. That holds it up. This side. So if you want to make these tighter or looser, you can actually adjust them with this uh, strap here. So as a pull out, so the strap like this, and tighten up. Yeah. And now we're just going to do the uh, studs on the front clears to, to make sure that there's no opening in the middle. So these are the studs that we're going to use to join the two front clears together. And you buy these at marine stores. Um, and the, on both sides they go together in two pieces. This is the top stud that you often see on things like that. And then there's a bottom stud that will go in also in two pieces on the other piece. So to do this one here, what we do is we take this dome piece and we press it through the hole here that we've made until it clearly comes through to the other side and we push it through a bit. We take the we take this other piece and we push that down nice and firmly. We put the cup underneath this dome. We get the stud and give it a few good whacks. There we go. That's on. So similarly, the bottom piece comes in two pieces. We push this long one here into the bottom, up through here, and then this one goes on top, place it into the cup, get the pin, Give it a few good wax. There, it's nice and secure. Ready to put this one back on now. There is a life I lead. City, hurry in to cup my tea. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart moves slow. Somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the outside. These clips are meant to actually be done from the inside. Yes, yeah. It's quite awkward to do them from the outside. But possible. Yeah, unfortunately, it's hard to design for both. But definitely these straps are a lot more secure than any other method. We've tried a few things and the best thing is straps. Because they don't come undone. Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone. This is what it looks like from the inside. If I could take you back, your straps along here and just start to do the clears here. My will is strong with the place to live. That's great. This makes the uh, front cockpit completely weatherproof. So, torrential rain, no problem. I have to pack everything every time it rains. <laughs> it was it's a nightmare. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you've got any questions for us, don't forget to leave us the questions down below. See you next time. Bye.